Hey guys, uh, sorry for the low production value on this video as I wanted to get something out quick and fast here. Um, here with me, I have a N100 CPU based uh, mini laptop computer from, oh man, I can't remember the name of the company because there's so many different white labeled solutions of this same laptop uh, on the market. Um, but it's a small um, laptop here. Uh, full type A on the side, uh, HDMI, I think that's mini. Type C for charging, I think it does data. On the other side, we got a micro SD port, a USB type A, and a headphone jack. Uh, and then nothing else, uh, just some ventilation on the back side here. Um, there's a port on the bottom for an M.2, uh, but that's about it. Um, I have it partially cracked open here because I don't want to type my password in here on the um, on the, uh, camera, and I don't want to have to do much editing on this, because I just want to get this out quick, um, I've seen videos on YouTube about this device, but all the videos are running Windows, and in the comments, I see a lot of people talking about how cool it would be if this thing ran Linux, and here we go, this is running Linux, uh, it is running the, uh, Aurora Distro, which is a branch of Fedora here, uh, and it runs actually quite well, and it works. Uh, oops, it works pretty well as well. Um, this device is, uh, like I said before, an Intel N100 running at 3.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's nothing impressive for graphics. It's got an Intel integrated graphics, um, and this model, even though it says it has, I think, 13 gigs of memory or something, or 16 even maybe, it only advertises having 11.4. Um, it came with a half a terabyte of storage, which isn't bad. Um, and the resolution of the screen is a 1920 by 1200 aspect ratio. Um, so installing Linux here on this device um, was actually pretty painless. I didn't want to dual boot or anything because I know this distro has a problem with UEFI with the dual booting. Um, so I just wiped Windows and I just did the whole thing as a Linux distro here. Uh, and everything actually works pretty well out of the box. Uh, the cursor down here works just fine. A little weird kind of nipply cursor, but it works. Um, all the hotkeys work just fine. Uh, the brightness works fine. Um, the audio works fine right out of the box. Um, the other hotkeys uh, are fine as well. The multimedia, I haven't tried a ton, but there's multimedia keys here. Um, and then caps lock is here, and that works just fine. Um, now, another thing here that works okay is tablet mode, which interestingly enough, if I do that, uh, it will, um, the accelerometer works just fine out of the box. And as you can see, it runs actually pretty quick here. Now, there is one problem with tablet mode when it's flipped back like this is the lid sensor is not working on Linux or at least this distro. So the backside, the keyboard and everything is still active. So if you're sitting here with it in your hands, you're bumping the buttons on the back. But it's cool because the orientation swapping works just fine. Um, and it's pretty responsive and quick, too. Um, there is apparently a fingerprint reader as part of the power button, which I don't think any other videos have talked about, interestingly enough. But there is a fingerprint reader on the power button. Um, but yeah, touchscreen works just fine. Didn't require any um, weird setup. Um, applications, sorry, applications run pretty fine. Uh, they run uh, pretty responsively as well. Uh, it's it's fast. It's very quick. Um, and uh, yeah, snapping is fine. I mean, of course, but um, yeah, so far, no issues. I've only had this thing for less than 12 hours. Um, I've been pretty impressed so far. The only other issue I've noticed, um, Wi-Fi works just fine. Bluetooth seems to work just fine. Uh, night mode works just fine for the nightlight. Um, everything is just working fine. But like I was about to say, um, the battery is a little bit weird. Um, I had this device out of the box, plugged in and charging, and it just said 30% charge. Uh, and it said 30% charge for like an hour. It never went up. So I thought there was a problem with the charging. But I think it's a problem with the readout because on the side here where the type C is, there's a, a little light here. Um, and this thing didn't come with a manual or anything. Um, 
I think the readout is is wonky because the light was red forever, but then the light was blue, but the battery still said 30%. But when I rebooted it, uh, it came back and it was fine. Um, earlier, I was having some weird problems with the, the lid, closing it and opening it back up. It didn't shut off, but it looks like it standby just fine. Uh, if we come back here, yeah, it worked just fine. Um, and we're back here at the, uh, login prompt. Um, oh, something else I didn't talk about. Um, real quick here. The virtual keyboard works fine, so when you flip it into the two-in-one tablet mode, uh, you do have a virtual keyboard, um, but it's not detecting it right. Um, there's a problem with, uh, because the it doesn't know tablet mode is engaged, um, normally the on-screen keyboard is showing all the time, um, but down here on the taskbar, um, there's a toggle down here for the keyboard. So I can do that, activate the keyboard, open up something with input and the keyboard is there and it's just fine. Um, and I think I can even, yeah, no problem. Yeah. So there you go. Um, the device runs Android, sorry, Android Linux pretty well, pretty happy with it. Um, for how much this thing costs, it's a pretty damn good little Linux device and a lot of it works out of the box later.